I want to talk about something near and dear to my heart. I woke up one morning and I'm, I'm older and I, I don't know what to do about it. I kept thinking about when I was in my 20s and I was happy and I was carefree and I could do whatever I want. And when I got to my 30s, I'm still having a good time. But as I got into my 40s, things started to slow down. And my body started to change as I got into my 50s. So all of a sudden I'm thinking to myself, how can I go back to the future? And so I started to look at everything and a lot of my friends kept talking about what they had done. You know, you get older and you're going through the hot flashes and the menopause and you don't feel good and, you know, the people in your life, you've got your mood swings and age changes all of us. And I kept thinking, you know, how can I get back to the way I felt when I was in my 20s and my 30s? So I talked to a lot of my girlfriends and they all talked about different things they had done. Um, the Mona Lisa, some of the other um, things that were out there to change vaginal rejuvenation, that's what we're talking about right now. Because as we go through menopause and we get the hot flashes and you know, mood swings and the weight and all that, things change in our bodies. So we all wanna have the fountain of youth. So I started to look at, look at everything and I saw the laser deals and I started to look at that and I started to scare me in and I was looking at the shots and all that. And then, I, then it's something that I looked at really amazed me and it was something to do with vaginal rejuvenation, but what it was, it was, um, it was radio frequency. And quite frankly, that, that made me think about what, what's going on with this thing. So I started to look at it and I go to the spas, I go to the med spas and some of the other spas and everybody had something different that they did. So when I started to call around on the spas, they would tell me, you know, you need to come in, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. And uh, I asked them if they had a medical doctor or had meds, you know, medical technicians on staff and they said, you know, we have our personnel there. So it started to scare me. So the more I looked at it, I've called around, I've talked to different people. I called one day and I talked to a man by the name of Dr. Lawson Richter. It's Compassionate Care for Women. And I have uh, Dr. Richter with me and I'd like to introduce him to you. And I went in to see him and here's what he had to say to me. Hi Lawson Richter, Dr. Richter. Welcome to my show. Good to see you again, Susie. Yes. So let me explain to you what I perceived when you first came in. Obviously, okay. you were a highly motivated lady with a lot of energy, and you obviously had done your homework. Yes. And I went to go through the different technologies, and I could tell that you had already done all that. Right. But I explained to you what it was that we wanted to do because right. a lady is not just sticking a device inside a vagina and having right. it create a better day. Yep. Um, so we did a little bladder test. We discovered some changes. Uh, which I think we're on the verge of, you know, correcting. And after mm -hmm. we're done, I'll be quiet and let Susie explain to you exactly what Susie did. Um, I explained to you what the procedure was and what mm -hmm. we wanted to do. You came back, uh, um, you were going to come back the next day. You said, no, let's just do it right now. I said, that's fine. Uh, the procedure took about 45 minutes. I Correct. think we both commented mm -hmm. on the fact that it was painless, uh, that you felt Absolutely. some warmth. And we spent 30 minutes talking with the technician that was with me as a chaperone and a helper. Right. And the time passed and you left. And then you called me back three days later. Yes. And you said, this thing really works. Yes, it does. And I said, yes, yeah, Susie, I really think that it works for a lot of people. And you just sounded amazed because I guess you thought it was just I was. I was totally smoke amazed. and mirrors or Absolutely. That's uh, exactly what I thought flim it was. flam thing or whatever yeah. else. Um, I think now you've had uh, two treatments out of um, um, three that could be recommended. Right. But the changes that you saw were dynamic enough to not oh only God, have you yes. come back. Phenomenal. But um, I think I even got a phone call from a very significant other yes. who wanted to say, Dr. Richter, thank you very, very much. And I said, well, you're very welcome. Who is this? And he said, <laughs> uh, he, he told me his name. Yeah. And he said, um, I'm uh, Susie's fiance. Yes. And I said, oh, very pleased to speak with you. Yeah. And he said, uh, this is a quickie. I just wanted to say thank you. And you've made Susie a new lady. And I benefit from it. From it and I, I'm, I'm grateful and I was yeah. really impressed. And then you said, you know, we've seen a lot of advertisements for getting a 
better banana or right. whatever you've seen what the about billboards women? are. Yeah. But when was the last time you saw one for ladies? Right. And I guess I don't know why people don't you know try to spread either. the word, but yeah. hopefully that's what this is going to do. Yeah. I think the other comment that you made was you said, why is it your prices are about half of what it that's is everyone exactly else? That's exactly what I said. Everybody had more expensive. And I said it's you. because these are for my patients. These are not trying to get rich. It's not going to happen. Right. Um, but it's something to help those patients that are in need to have a better life. And one thing that we really push at Compassionate Care for Women at my practice is not just good at medical attention, but for quality of life. Right. Um, I mean, Absolutely. how many 13-year-old girls do we have come in that have horrible cramps and bleeding and they just have a hormonal issue that needs to be taken care of, but with something that would be perceived right. as Absolutely. birth control, like a, like a pill. So I talked to the mom and explained to her what's going on. And many times the mom will say, you know, you know, that happened to me when I was a girl, but my right. mom would give it to me because she thought I was going to go have sex. And I go, please, that's between you and the daughter. She goes, no, we have to make, we have to make it better. That's right. And Absolutely. move on. And yeah. so she does the mother daughter talk and sure enough, about two months later, the mom and daughter come back and, and they're very pleased. This is no different. This right. is technology that's used to help ladies have a better life. Now, does everyone need to have a better sex life? Of course well, they do. I don't know. That's for each person to, to, to decide. And how much money is a better sex life worth? Um, obviously, half as much as everyone else charges. But my point is that's not the issue. No, I'll work with any patient. Issue. I'll do anything that the patient needs. But to let them have a better life is, 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 is crucial. That's and, number one. And that's Beyond why, a shadow of a doubt, that's why I came to you. And that's why I'm here with you today, yeah. because you are as passionate as I am that Absolutely. ladies deserve to have a better life. Without a doubt. Um, I, I, I think people are impressed. I have a success rate that is approaching 87%. Not everything that's is right phenomenal. for everybody. Yeah. Um, some people will not be able to benefit from it. But the difference is by having the evaluation by someone who is a professional, I mean, obviously, I would like people to come see me because I believe that what we do in our offices is quality care. But to have a true evaluation from, from all angles, a lady's bladder, the vagina, the sensitivity, yes. other problems that she has, maybe it's medications that she's on. Right. These need to be evaluated. And with all due respect, no, no disrespect to the spas, they serve a purpose. But there's no way that you can have somebody right. just stick something inside a lady's vagina you don't what know. could be more intimate than that and to say well you're going to be just fine how, how, how do you know that yeah. when was the lady's last pap smear what do they see when they look inside they don't even look so my point is is that's why yeah. i think that this is so important to have ladies have a better life that's right at all stages of their life well, that's why I brought you in, and I, that's why I wanted to go through the whole thing because nobody has anything on TV, on YouTube about exactly what we're talking about from start to finish. Now, not to interrupt, but I yeah. want to make a disclaimer: yeah. is that everyone's entitled to opinion. So, no disrespect to yeah. other technologies, right. Mona Lisa and laser, but I have seen too many problems created by that that I wasn't able to take care of necessarily right. for ladies that have had that technology. So, maybe we're a victim of our experience. Um, but to warm tissues as opposed to shooting lasers, you know, into them, there, there's just a difference. And once again, I am more a proponent for the radio wave and not so much for the laser. So again, please mis you know, don't misunderstand right. me. I'm not here to pick a fight with any technology. It's just that I know this works and I'm hard pressed to think how anyone can have a complication from it ever. And that's, that's what, what I, I want like. to talk about, Doc. When I when I came in to see you, I was I was pleasantly surprised. You sat down, you explained to me everything that was going to happen, and we went through all of it. And your assistant was very good. You did the bladder test before we even started. You checked me out to make sure that everything was fine. I really appreciate that because I, I want my. Body. I even suggested you have a mammogram. Which yes, you said, what you does did. that have to do with my vagina? I said nothing. <laughs> but it's you. That's right. So. Yes. And that's what I really like about this because you know, you, you're, you're the complete compassionate care doc. I really appreciate it. But when you explain the whole thing to me and everything that, that we you know, went through that day, I had a really good feeling about it. And it was, I felt comfortable uh, through the whole procedure. 
you explained to me about the machine, about what you were going to do, and about how, how this was going to heat up. You know, this was attached to the machine. You know, when I laid there, you know, most women wonder what's going to happen when you go in. That's the big thing. That's what I really want to talk about. What happened when I went in? So I went in. You know, you did the bladder test after that. Then you checked and uh, found out that everything was okay. You gave me some medication for that, and I'm still on that right now, and I feel fantastic. But with the uh, procedure, you know, I didn't know what to expect either when I went in. And it was, um, I believe you said 12, 3, 6, and 9. So you heat up uh, the machine. This is attached to the machine. And there was another pad that you would put on my leg. I remember that. And uh, you had like the, you, uh, it was the ultra, the blue gel or whatever it is that you conducting used. Conducting gel. Yeah, yeah, conducting gel. And you started it and you, you were very nice and very kind to me. And you said that if it gets hot, please let me know. And you were, you know, you were very, very good. You answered all my questions as, as this whole thing was progressing. And I could feel changes. It just amazed me how much I could feel in a very short time. And so when we started this, this went on for about 45 minutes. And um, I actually, actually felt like I had part of my, I don't know how to explain it to you, but I actually felt like I had part of my body back because when you go through <clears> menopause <throat> and hot flashes and all that, you almost feel like part of your body is gone. I don't know if you can explain that to our audience or not. As our tissues get older, yes. the um, re-epithelialization of the vagina and places like that just you know can't keep up so no. we have better looking skin better feeling skin yeah. when we're 25 or 35 yeah. as we get older that goes through changes that you can't necessarily right. stop but what the technology with radio waves is that this is the part that actually does the conducting obviously this is connected to the machine which is out of the way and this is the only part that actually goes inside the vagina so it's less obtrusive than even having a speculum exam and less discomfort than having a pap smear um, which you had had current, so I yes, didn't make you do it. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, again, that's what it does: is that this warms up the t uh, the, the vagina about 101, your body temperature 98.6. Mm -hmm. So you just feel warmth. And yeah. I think the hardest part is to probably lie there without having to move for perhaps 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we. Um, overcome that by trying to take your mind off of it and talk about things or you can bring your tunes and listen to them or you can just put up with the chitter chatter but you had so many questions that the time passed oh. so quickly I think you know more about radio technology now than I probably do since Absolutely. if I'm not mistaken you went to a couple of the spas and I did. the young girl said okay that'll be whatever a thousand dollars I said. have a seat over there and just open your vagina and your legs <laughs> and Susie was going no really you know <laughs> You know, my boyfriend has ties that are older than you are. Yeah, and, uh, oh, by the right. way, and now that you're married, Mazel yes. Tov, congratulations. <laughs> Thank Good you. Good job. Thank you so um, much. And, and that was probably what scared you the most. It did. Was that somebody would actually have you walk into an office, yeah. have you pay money, which, of course, you have to do up front. Oh, it, well. it would appear. Yeah, you do. Because they don't. No, and it, it's It's kind sessions. of a money-making. Anyway, yeah. um, let's get off of that. Okay. Um, but my point is, is that this is non-invasive. It is comfortable. It is the results are um, able to be duplicated. Right. Um, there are a lot of positive outcomes that you will have with this. But again, it has to be tailored to the patient, and that's why I think that we do a better job. Well, that's what's so important. Doc. Now you're going to be a patient of ours, and we're going to make sure that every year you have your mammogram and things like that. Right. But it's quality to life. Yeah. Um, I, I think every lady deserves to have that at whatever age, 12 years old, and having irregular, horrible menstrual cycles that she loses right. days from school, can't play her soccer when she wants to. That's just wrong. There are ways of you know of taking care of that, mm -hmm. obviously with a mother's blessing. Right. But I've had too many patients say, well, why is it someone didn't talk to us about this before? And maybe that's a take home message. It's the rapport with the right. patient that you have to dis establish. Well, that's what this was all about. That's why I felt so comfortable with you, because you answered my questions. No, no question was too stupid or too crazy. I mean, all of us out there have questions, and I know when I'm driving up and down DI or some of the other roads, a better banana. Well, what about women? Why don't we have something for women? I mean, that was my biggest question. Why don't we have something for us? But I think this would be more rewarding than a box of chocolates for Mother's Day. I do too. I, I, I think that if 
ladies and gentlemen can talk. Yeah. If ladies can take charge of their life. That's right. That's what Then this I is have all a feeling about. that this is going to be part of it. Right. And your job today is to empower the people out there that are that are listening to you. Right. So that they say, yeah, I deserve this. Well, absolutely. So, so let's get back to what happened. I'll, I want to bring you back to what happened when I finished. Uh, I got done that day, and you, um, you told me it was going to be like um, when, when we finished with this, you said it would be a little bit of tenderness or whatever, but I really didn't, didn't feel any different, and uh, I felt really good when I left. I mean, I actually felt like... Um, Back to the future, like instead of Marty McFly, I felt like Martina McFly. I was in such a good mood, I couldn't believe it. And I thought, is it just euphoria or is it really for real? So I believe between the first treatment and the second, what is it, about two weeks, I think it is, between the treatments? A little over three. Over three weeks, okay. All right, so I did that. You had given me some medication, uh, some cream I used also. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's, there's, there's a few steps to the process, folks. So. So uh, what I liked about it was uh, Doc was available to be able to talk to me if I had any questions, and I did have questions after that, so he really is available. And uh, I made the appointment to come in for the second one, and it was amazing. From the first uh, treatment to the second treatment, I actually even felt better after the second treatment. But it was it's like a work in progress. You don't do one and done. You need to do a couple treatments of this because we didn't get this way overnight. You know, we went from 20 to 30 to 40 to 50. To, right now I'm over 60 and I'm not afraid to tell everybody that. But, but it's nice to have the feeling of elasticity and the collagen back. I mean, I really feel good. I mean, there's a total change in the way I feel. A tighter vagina. Yeah. Increased natural lubrication yes, absolutely. and increased sensitivity. Yes. And if you can do that in less than three months to take away 30 years. That's what I did. I mean, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah. I know we live in an immediate society. You drive through, you get yeah. your burger or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it does. But this this is totally amazing. And what I'd like to do is, is I believe in it so much, you know, I, I want you to be a part of Susie's Las Vegas Lifestyles, and I think we should do business together, and I do want to offer a special incentive for people watching today because we're going to have a code at the end of the show. And I definitely, um, I've got, what, two more treatments, I believe, with you too, don't I? Yeah. And and then what, okay, so we do three treatments or four, and uh, I also want to, um, Everyone's going to be a little bit different. Yeah. There are some ladies who actually have come back after having the three treatments right. and have come back in like about four to five months yeah. because they can feel that things are starting to change the other way. But it's a perception. If right. the lady does the three mm -hmm. treatments and doesn't need right. to come back for a year, then so be it. Right. But the perception, this is my point, folks, is that ladies, ladies have to understand right. that what you feel is real. And as you feel the changes, that's what you're... Do they call us healthcare providers now? I hate that. What your doctor is supposed to do, and they're supposed to empower you to talk about what you feel and what we can do then to make it better. And after explaining the different options, then the lady decides where she wants to start, if at all. On the other hand, maybe it's not something that she that she needs, but at least she's aware of it. And that's right. what I think my function is: is to give information, to explain things. Um, make sure that she understands what the technology is. She can do her own homework. Um, we have information in the office that they're welcome to have. Um, th that's, that's the key, is you have to have someone that you trust and someone that you know is on your side. And if you think I'm talking about me, actually I'm talking about Susie. That's right. Because she feels strongly that ladies have been a second-rate concern Right. And that was why she kept asking me during the first time we were together. I see the better banana, but where the hell is the advertising for the women? How come you don't put this out there? Yeah. Well, advertising is very expensive. And I'm not sure whether it works or not. I have never done very much advertising. Right. That's it's why It's all we're word of mouth. Advertise. It's, it's you know, referrals from my patients. Um, but Susie's a more dynamic individual. And if she can explain why perhaps you deserve it, maybe that will make more sense because every lady deserves to have the best she can have at every stage of her life right. and to take second or That's to right. take you know less is is just a crime um, so I would encourage you to at least you know consider the product and consider the service 
And like I said, Susie's a pretty straight shooter. Yeah. And um, I think that um, you can pretty much trust Susie to give you her insights. Now, again, not everything is for everybody, right. but if we can hit 87%, um, I think that's significant. Exactly. So, meaning that means that almost nine out of ten ladies are going to be able to benefit from this. I would encourage you to, um, you know, to consider it. Well, you know, you know, Doc, I want, I want to tell you something. You remember when my fiance called you up, who is now my husband, and he's very happy. Can we use his name? Yes, Larry. Larry. Okay, Absolutely. yeah, Larry. Yes. Larry's, Larry's a hoot. He, he really is. <laughs> if you think Susie's straightforward, you should be Larry. They, he, they, he has a new dimension. Are, I've met my match. They are a match. couple. They yeah. are a couple. Yeah. But, but, you know, the funny thing is, is stop and think about all the men out there that want their wives to just imagine if he could give her that feeling of what it was like when they got married or they were together, you know, 10 years, 20 years, you know, when they were in their 20s and 30s. What would that, imagine that gift Doc, I mean, how awesome that is, just to feel young again, and you know, you you have all the feelings together with each other, and you really do want to make love, and you want to be together, and there's there's nothing that you can't do, you know, I, I mean, I think it's amazing, but you know. Now, one thing I would warn you about, gentlemen, um, you do not want to buy a gift certificate and put it under her pillow, because yeah. the first thing she might think is that, oh, things aren't good enough yeah. from his point of view. You might want to have an intimate conversation first and say, you know, hon, I've always wondered whether or not I'm, whether it's good enough for you. And if she says, well, what do you mean? That's when you can talk about maybe what you would like to be able to give her. It's a beautiful gift. And yeah. be able to explain to her that, it's, that, that she is all that you could ever hope for, but you're trying to do something for her. Right. And that is why you want to make sure that you have a conversation first. It's not like you would put a, this, a gift certificate in a Hallmark card because, again, she can misunderstand it. So, Correct. gentlemen, she will see your sincerity. Show that it's first. perfect Christmas gift. And then ask her or if Valentine's she would be Day. interested in, in giving it a try to right. see if you could maximize her enjoyment. And like I said, so go, so and go, it, and it go goes gently, your, go yeah, gently. It goes your enjoyment too, as we say. Yeah, you're going to benefit from it also. Yeah. But my point is, is that, you know, make sure that she understands that this is your caring, your consideration, for your, you're wanting the best for her. So. I, I want to talk to you about one other thing, yeah. uh, because um, our show is going to be wrapping up very shortly. Okay. But um, sign, uh, with the, um, you do facials also, right? It's the same technology, and it's also uh, for um, uh, face, neck. Okay. Yeah. All right, so tell me a little bit about that procedure, because I, I know we're going to do that next when I come in to see you, and I believe we can put some video on it. Um, the facial is, uh, what is it, like a 20-minute facial, or how long is we it? We usually do both sides. We divide you into quadrants. There are usually three quadrants, depending. Okay. So there's the upper, the middle, and then toward the bottom. Okay. With the same technology, by warming up the tissues, it increases the collagen, just like it did, as we were describing, in the vagina. Mm -hmm. And this is a slower process. Um, it's not going to be as harsh as well. Um, the CO2 coaxial uh, laser. Right. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen someone that has it done, but about day two or day three, they look like the Hulk. Is that the one that oh, has yeah, all the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. one. I know. Um, anyway, they, it looks Skin pretty brutal. Skin resurfacing or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it takes about the first five layers off, so it's pretty severe. Um, kind of painful. Um, this is not. This, again, you feel some warmth, and we usually try to include this with the Vitalia just to say thank you okay. as they come back for their follow-up visits. Um, but this does the same thing as the Botox does. It's just obviously a lot less expensive, sure. um, not painful, um, but again, successful. I've had the, I've had the um, resurfacing, and yes, I did look like the Hulk yeah, for you, a day or two after that. Did you really? So I'm really? definitely going to try that. So, so that would be an awesome gift to be able to put something. I'm sure you have packages, too. Of course. We, we can put them on Susie's Las Vegas Lifestyles. And, you know, again, I'll put a special code on for everybody that's watched my show and give, give us a like. And I'm sure I'm going to have Dr. Lawson Richter back on again. But, again, I, I really wanted to talk about this because nobody really talks about it. And, and you know, us ladies need to take take charge of our lives and really really have a chance to enjoy life like the men do you know we we deserve it too and that's why I'm here with you today and that's why I wanted to bring this out and I really appreciate you being on on my show with me today uh, now let me ask you a question um, to be able to 
to do this, what are the age ranges that, that you recommend to have something like this done? The youngest patient I've had so far was 22. She's had five kids. The oldest I've done is uh, 78. Wow, that's a big age range. Everybody has needs, everyone has different experiences. Okay. But uh, the kids did quite a number on the youngster. Really? And um, I, and she was amazed at how much better things were. Uh -huh. The um, other lady I spoke of, she had um, significant atrophic changes. Now, her skin was parchment-like, it was really right. um, very friable. Yeah. And um, she um, noticed a tremendous difference because she's still sexually active. Okay. God bless her. Yeah. Um, but uh, after the second treatment, she found that uh, she was using less lubrication than she used with her yeah. husband, um, that she didn't have that chronic irritation and pain that she had had you know, before that. And she's due to come in in about a week for her third treatment. And she giggles almost as much as, as Susie almost does. Almost as much as I do. Because she thought that it was just smoke and mirrors as well. Yeah. And she said, I never dreamed that it was really going to work. Yeah. Um, but it did. And well, well, if I can, if I can say one thing, it really has worked, and I've tried the lubrication, I've tried everything and anything, but, but it's funny because your skin gets so thin, and and it would hurt, and I'm sure there's a lot of ladies out there that don't want to talk about what it really feels like. You know, you don't want to hurt your significant other or your husband or whatever. You don't want him to feel bad that he's killing you or hurting you or whatever. But after you start to do this and you you start working with this, I'm totally. I got to tell you, I mean, I was doubting, doubting Susie, you know, or doubting Thomas, but it really does work. I'd, after the first treatment, I felt good, but when I, you know, when I got into the second one, I mean, I, I just can't believe the difference and the, the difference in the way I feel and the, the difference in how I act. I mean, I feel young again. I really do. I feel like I'm 29. I'm very glad. And it's a privilege to be with you. Well, thank you. So thank you very much and come back to the show. Thank, Thank you, you Dr. Susie, Rico. Very, very much. Good night, folks.